My name is Mark Bamford. I'm the chairman of the Sleaford Museum Trust. Uh, I live in Sleaford and I am now retired, so this is perhaps my main occupation. Well, the main strength of this particular project is the opportunity for us to involve young people in the heritage offer of the town. Uh, Sleaford has a, a number of heritage uh, situations, um, none of which would stand alone, but together they form a very coherent whole. And Sleaford Museum is looking forward to involving the young people of our town in that. As far as the weaknesses are concerned in the involvement of the Sleaford Museum, um, my major concern is that we are very small. We are, in fact, a converted Edwardian toilet. So the actual operational site of the museum is quite small. It has a file limit of 15. Uh, this might pose a problem for restricting some of the activities that we have to do. However, there is quite a usable space outside, and if we're talking non-November, then we might be able to do something along those lines. Uh, I think we want to raise our profile, particularly amongst the young people. Um, I am uh, an ex-teacher, I'm an ex-secondary school teacher, so I'm used to working with young people in the age range of the project. Um, they are always an interesting group to work with because they can be quite difficult to engage. Um, but this gives an opportunity to engage people of that age range um, in in heritage, not something that they are immediately attracted to, although that's not true of all of them. And one of the things that we must be very careful not to do is profile young people, stereotypically, because they are as diverse as the rest of the human population. The biggest challenge, as far as we are concerned, I think, will be communicating exactly what young people can expect from it. They don't tend to walk into things uh, without reconnaissance they do tend to check things out. Um, a lot of people think that young people are impetuous. Um, some are, very many aren't. They think things through and they won't become involved in something unless they think there is some mileage in the project. And that's, it can be altruistic, but it can also be something that's got to be something in it for them as well. Well, the very fact, as I've said, that we can involve young people in the heritage of the, of the town. <clears throat> Sleaford is a very exciting, believe it or not, small market town. I don't think it excites young people as much as it should do. Uh, they need some idea of a sense of place, of where they belong, and the heritage of the people that have gone before them, particularly the young people that have gone before them. Um, one of the things about Sleaford is our young people do tend to leave. Um, that's quite understandable because they need to seek opportunities elsewhere, but we would like them to leave with a sense of where they come from and where they belong. One of the things is, is that the vast majority of the people that are involved with the museum are of an age. And we, of course, find it quite difficult to translate our thoughts into the thoughts of, a, uh, of, a, of an adolescent or a young person. So their, their opportunities, their, their ability to be able to tell us what they want, what they would like, what they think the museum should be offering people of their age range is of particular importance.